so thirsty. This is like my third take now, trying to record this video. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Mark and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you five reasons why you should consider purchasing the Viltrox 85 millimeter F 1.8 Mark II. And with this, I'm gonna be using my A7C as a reference for everything that we talk about. So without further ado, let's do this. So the first reason that I have for you guys for you to consider purchasing this lens is the price and value that you get out of paying for this lens. So this retails at about 399 US dollars and if you compare it to the Sony uh, variant, the Sony one is about 599 and Samyang, which has no f1.8, is about 550 dollars. So with all things considered, this thing is of value. Like. We will be talking about the build quality of this in a minute, but then again, just want to sink that into your brain that this is actually a very cheap lens, especially with the looks of it. So let's just talk about number two right away, which is the build quality and the feel. This one is built like a tank, like everything feels so premium. The focus ring on this is super smooth, like it's very well damped. The only thing that I wish they put on this lens is probably a, an autofocus and manual focus switch, which is okay that they don't have it, but then I am I came from the GH5 and I all, always like that tactile switch. So the third thing that might compel you to purchase this lens is the bokeh and feel, and it's probably the most fun aspect of having an 85 millimeter f1.8 lens is the bokeh and compression. And what do I mean by that? Let's pretend you are photographing or filming somebody uh, from about this yay height up to the face. If you film them with an f1.8 lens, the whole background, especially if it's a bit farther from them, will just turn into goo, into jelly, into majestic jelly. So the 85 millimeter is a staple in everybody's kit. Not everybody's kit, but people who like to do portraits or B-roll, this lens is gonna make your footage look professional and we'll take it to the next level. So trust me on this, the bokeh and compression on an 85 millimeter f1.8 is really amazing. So the fourth thing that is probably the most important aspect of this lens for photographers and videographers is the autofocus. So I'm happy to report that the autofocus of this lens is quiet and it is consistent. So first let's do a little noise test of how quiet this lens actually is. Let's see if you can actually hear it. Let me switch it on to video mode. I'm going to be putting it near the mic and let's see if you can pick it up. It's actually pointless to do this because it's really, really silent. You just have to take my word for it. Okay, so just for comparison's sake, I'm going to be switching lenses so you can actually hear how quiet this lens is by hearing a different lens, which is a little bit noisy. So you get the idea, this thing is really quiet. Just take my word for it. Trust me, this lens is really, 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 really quiet. So you won't have to worry about it. So the fifth and last reason, which hopefully might compel you to purchase this lens is that you absolutely cannot go wrong with purchasing this lens. Like I don't even regret purchasing this, although I don't use it as much as I'd want to because I don't really shoot portraits that much, but I am starting to. This lens has given me a whole new aspect in taking videos and photos. I used to be that guy who just uses a 50 millimeter f1.8 because it's cheap, but then again, you don't get the compression of a longer focal length like this 85 millimeter. So maybe let's just end the video by showing you guys some sample footage that I took with the a7C paired with the Viltrox 85 millimeter f1.8 mark ii so yeah just stick around to the end and so you can see what this thing is capable of see you guys next time bye